Hey class, I wanted to just take a couple minutes to talk about the peer review discussion boards or the peer reviews in general for this course. Uh, as you know here at BYU-Idaho, we, we pride ourselves on the students teaching students principle in the uh, BYU-Idaho learning model. And the peer review discussion boards are critical for that concept in this course particularly. So I wanted to talk just briefly about them, how they're structured, and what's expected from you guys in those. We're going to have some of those every uh, week for the rest of the semester. Um, this is also the part of the semester that I mentioned earlier on is where things are going to start picking up. We're starting to get into the meat of the semester and you really need to be paying attention and interacting with each other to make sure that you are prepared uh, to do your assignment each week and to make sure that you learn the concepts to bring you into the next week. So uh, yeah, the peer reviews are extremely important um, and it's up to you how much you get out of them. These are your assignments. This is you guys working with each other. and if you don't put anything into it, you're not going to get very much out of it for various reasons, right? If you're not commenting on others, others are going to have a hard time commenting on you, um, back on your stuff. So, so it's kind of on you how what, what these assignments turn into for you. Um, one of the biggest complaints and concerns I have from students is, well, I don't know anything about programming, so how am I supposed to help my peers? Well, we're all learning together. Yes, there's going to be some various levels of, of learning. Some people have come into the course knowing a little bit more than others. But on the whole, you guys are all kind of starting out um, uh, from the beginning. And you're learning and growing together. And you don't have to be giving people uh, expert technical advice to participate in the peer review. Um, sometimes it's sufficient just to get in and say, hey, I tested it for you. It seemed to work for me. I, I ran through all the requirements and everything worked. Oh, and by the way, I saw a really cool thing you did in there. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Right? Turn it into a discussion. Uh, make it into uh, something that causes both sides to, to improve a little bit and learn something. So, And if you do happen to know something that can help somebody else and notice something that they can do better, by all means, share that and encourage and teach. So that's what they're about, right? Um, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be monitoring them. I'll, I'll be looking at those. Uh, if we have a TA this semester, uh, the TA will probably be monitoring as well. And our main function there is not to get in and answer all the questions. Like we say, this is te the students teaching students. My main function is to go in there and make sure that everybody is getting their questions answered. And also to make sure that no falsehoods are being shared uh, in, the, in the discussion board so that we're not having any uh, incorrect teaching happening. But for the most part, I'm going to be hands off in those because I want you guys to be in there. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not in there watching what's going on. So I will be there making sure that nothing in there is happening that's detrimental to you guys. Um, but it's yours. Uh, make, make sure that you do your best. Now, schedule is the last thing I want to be clear on in these. Um, the peer review discussion boards are some of the things that the majority of the people miss points on. And it's just a matter of paying attention to detail. Uh, this is one of those weird assignments inside of iLearn that iLearn does not know how to warn you about the due dates, right? Uh, because there are multiple due dates associated with the peer review discussion boards. Uh, so, and I believe iLearn only tells you about the Thursday night um, due date. But there's a Wednesday night due date as well that you need to be aware of because that's the most critical one. You need to have your code posted into the peer review discussion board by Wednesday at midnight every week. Now, I'd encourage you to get it done a little bit earlier. I found that those that do it on Tuesday actually do better in the course when they get their code posted that early. But it needs to be posted no later than Wednesday because you have to have that in there in order to allow your peers time to review it and give you feedback because the feedback is due by Thursday night. So Wednesday night, you turn it in. Thursday night, you turn in your feedback. And then Friday night, you have the assignment where the code is due to me. Um, and if you're late on any of those, uh, you start to lose significant points throughout the semester. So see, pay, pay attention to that. It's the same schedule every week. Um, and if you've watched this video, which I hope you have, there's no excuse for being late on any of these assignments. So um, thank you. I, I really do think that the peer review discussion boards are some of the more fun activities that we do. People do seem to enjoy them. Uh, you are limited to your peer review groups, which uh, you've been have been made by now, and you should know what your groups are. Uh, based on the email and the announcements that I've posted for you guys. So um, get in there, have fun with them, and uh, let's uh, teach each other. See you guys.